on Amazon Music. Stop. Stop. <laughs> and that's all working, I believe. I believe in miracles. Like where you're from? Yes, like the thing. I believe in miracles. Like where you're from? Yes, that's the thing. As I walked through the joint, dude, as I had. Hey, big spender, spend a little time on me. Viva Las Vegas. Viva, viva, Las Vegas. Oh, it's raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Uh-huh. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Uh-huh. Keep myself absolutely soaking wet. It's raining, man. Hello, hello, hello. Everyone, welcome to the stream. I think everything is up and running. We do have rain. Oh, the, oh, oh, there's a very slipper out there. There's a car in the way, and other cars trying to get around it. Oh, that looks a bit hairy then. That could have been a crash. Well, everyone's on intermediates, and no one's on the soft tyres. Yep, get your body and your welly boots out. Ted's on his pit walk with his umbrella. I think this is yeah yeah sorry I don't think I know this is a sprint weekend what I think is I think Pink Eye can wrap up the championship here if he hasn't already so we are waiting to, I will have a look at that in a minute see if there's anything yeah, next to his name it's looking quite tricky out there it's not not the easiest tracks as, as it is. It's going to be even harder in the wet. It is intermediate, so it's not too bad. Yeah, Bruges. Almost 50 behind. I believe there's 60 left up for grabs. So he, he, he can take the championship here. So pink eyes one to look out for. If anyone can let me know if the rain is here to stay or if it's only here for a little bit, that would be fantastic.
Everyone's keeping it on track at the moment. We are starting Bob with Albie as he's starting a lap. So we'll see what he can do. Seems such a Chris there. Oh, VDV sets a slightly quicker time. Oh, Colby sets an even quicker time. So the, <laughs> the times are popping in slowly. As I was gonna say, this this seems like it's taking forever to get this lap done with. We are in the final section now for Albi. And watch his uh, car get all kinds of shapes. He's throwing shapes out there on the track. IF Racing clears everyone else by a whole second. I'll be only managing 150, so I'll be really struggling for that lap there. On with uh, Iron Marshall. He's normally a tier 3 reserve, he's uh, up here with the big boys today. The guy has pace, um, he does crash a lot though. Good evening Ozzo, how are you? As you can see, it's raining. It's raining and it's pouring, the old man is snowing. So my, my computer is popping up with all sorts of stuff. So I can't see that last comment until it stops. Oh, as we see uh, Kieran there, very slippery. So Kieran's setting a 151. So three, se three seconds, three and a half seconds slower than first place Kieran is. Oh, there you go. That's your message now. Yeah, I'm all good. Thank you. You're not racing. Oh, as we see Marshall spin it. Coming over the crest of the hill there. So that's unlucky for him. Oh yeah, I've just seen you. I've just seen Ozzo. Are we going to have the Ozzo crew in here tonight? It's been a while since Ozzo has been in one of my uh, streams. I'm missing something wrong. I was like, measure something, get him in here. Because something is snoring, he's boring. He's joining, I'm joking. So we're on board with Scotty at the moment as he's about to cross the line. He's a 157. That Albie was all sideways. Oh, Albie's on a mission. He's purpled that, sec that sector. That's the first set of his purples. As VDV is getting closer, Bruges is getting closer, so a couple of uh, 148s being set at the moment. Culp is still in the 149s, Dan's in the 149s, Rumble in the 149s. Uh, is there any surprising ones at the moment? There's not at the moment. Pink Eye is out on the lap. Valley's out on the lap. So they are two to watch out for. I 
five races back out on an out lap does he need to come out i mean i messed up on the sunday with my uh with my tires actually i set a decent lap on my first lap of um qualifying on full wets i should have uh, ended it there but i decided to keep going round and round and round and round and round thinking that i'll have a set of uh, a new set for each session and then i did the same on the second set set an awesome time kept going round and round and round and round and round trying to improve on it because i mean there was places i did mess up so there was places that i was gaining like two to three tenths but then i kept invalid oh i just see Hague is coming having it off there um yeah so i kept going round and round and round and round came into final set of qualifying and realized that wow what a time from uh, pink i was in there a two minute two two so uh i think he's just getting a feel for everything at the moment yeah so i kept going round and round and round came to q3 and realized that i didn't have a new set so i had to go out on like tires that i've already done like six laps on so i couldn't set a competitive time in q3 on sunday which is uh which was gutting because I, was, I think I was second in Q1. I think I was third in Q2. But if I just set that one lap in Q1, use the same set of tyres for Q2 to set another lap, and then I, got, I should have had a fresh set there for Q3. I would have been through. It would have been better, but I used all the tyres up. Pink Eye had two purple sectors and still ended up with a two minute. He must have span. It is looking very tricky out there. So Pink Eye is actually five tenths down on his first time. So he must have had an issue through this section here then. Back in kicks out again. Uh, he does manage to set a competitive time with a 48.8, so that does get him out of the drop zone. It does leave Ozzo still lingering in the pits. Ozzo, get your car out of that pit, alright? Do a couple of laps. I'm gonna call you Linger in the corner. He's a lingerer. He's a lingerer. He lingers, 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 lingers. Diamonds are forever. So we're on with Andy boys in here he's gonna improve on his time. He's currently the slowest man out there at the moment. Oh he does improve, he gets into the 149s. We're on with Marshall, see how he's getting on. Well, you might stay at the same place, but it will give you some uh, practice on the track. Since you're in the pits, have we got rain all quality, or is it only part of quality? Have we got rain in the race? Give me a weather update. Weather report, weather report. I'm tempted to change my uh, my name from Elite Hound to Hellhound. 
CDR Hellhound. Marshall's giving this one up. So he's obviously not improving. Let's look at inhale and he's invalidated. Scotty is on a, a lap now. Let's see how he's doing. Colpy's about to put in the second there. That was sneaky, sneaky from Colpy. We were 48, 420. We do like that number, 420, don't we? Scott is staying on track at the moment. Let's see how he's doing. Which fit? I don't exactly know how it works. So sprint is sunny. Also rain plus five plus ten plus fifteen. So um so the sprint and race should be sunny. Um basically the the plus fifteen uh, plus five plus ten plus fifteen is based on your quality. Scotty does improve with a uh, 149.6. Um, so as I believe, because I've been looking into that um, the past week, because I keep getting it mixed up as well, and it messed me up Sunday, because I ran a full wet setup on Sunday, and we only had intermediate rate. Dan's up improving on his time, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I ran a full race. Uh, right, full wet setup on Sunday, which really messed me up in the race. I mean, I was super fast through um, the second sector, but that was about it. So um, I've been looking into it, and so I believe what it is is where it's saying the times the 5 the 10 the 15 the 20 that's for quality that's all for quality so uh the quality session is a well this one here's an 18 minute session so it'll be this one here so on a standard quality it will be if it's more than 15 uh 15 minutes it will still be raining in q2 if it's more than 25 minutes it will still be raining in Q3 if it shows it dries up after 25 minutes it will dry up in Q2 or Q3 so that's the way I believe all oh, damp is a second with a 48 one he snuck that in there last minute didn't he old fan dangle dingly dangly so what Adam can do, these are the last few minutes of qualifying because this is, I believe Kieran has crashed out, but we'll see. Um, this is the last few minutes of qualifying because this is um, going into a sprint race. Adam doesn't improve that much. Fastest lap from IF Racing sticks it in the uh, 147, so it goes even faster, almost a second faster than Dan. See what everyone else can do. Colpy is on an outlap. Is Colpy going to make the line? Colpy's not going to make the line. So that is, uh, sh yeah, that's got him from Colpy. So he came on the outlap and didn't manage to get it over the edge. We're a purple section here from Pink Eye. So Pink Eye's improving. This is what he can do.
Doctor Dan has retired. That is in the pits because his car's in there. Oh, if racing, I'm assuming it is on another lap, and um, so he might be improving somewhere. We're watching Pink at the moment. Who is your championship leader? Um, he can wrap it up here. I think there's 60 points left to go. He's 50, well, 49 points in front of Bruges. I think I set the fastest lap. IF Racing is coming through now. And he's down, so he's not going to improve. Bruges is up on his time, so where's this going to put Bruges? Valley's managed to get in there as well. So Bruges was improving, but actually lost a place to Valley. VDV has stuck it in there. So the only one on the track now is not improving and has invalidated is Andy Boy. So there we have it. That's going to be the end of qualifying here. So there we have qualifying, Pink Eye, IF Racing, Reedy V, and we have Dan, Valley, Bruges, Colpies dropped down to 7th, he's been gutted there since uh, he went out and ran out of time before he crossed the line and we have bring up the rear Ozzo who hasn't set a time. So we've now got the sprint race, I don't think I'll get to instants in time, uh, there's been a few just little instance there cutting corners exceeding track limits and sunshine on a rainy day the crowd's so happy there look their max are off their raincoats are put away umbrellas have been taken down final setups are being made It's almost time to go broom broom. Zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine headed my way. Zippity doo da, zippity day. Oh, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder It's the truth in battle Everything is satisfactory Zippity-dee-da, zippity-day Wonderful feeling, wonderful day Only pink eye on the hearts, everyone else, the whole grid's on the mediums Apart from Mr. Pink eye So, is he saving the extra mediums for the race? So that's interesting. Pink Eye being the only person on them hard tyres. Is this a mistake from Pink Eye here?
So we're just finishing the formation lap now. See how many people is going to get disqualified as we see IF Racing get through Pink Eye. Let's hope that's not a thing for the start. So we are lining up on the grid. And we are two laps in the race already. Stupid game. Right. And we are off racing here at Kota. And I have racing is already up alongside um, Pink Eye. Is he going to get past him? Yes, he is. So Pink Eye on those hard tyres already losing now a place into the first corner. Everything's looking pretty clean as I see down the field at the moment. Side by side going into the S's, not advisable really. But everyone goes through cleanly and it looks like we are proper racing. Two Red, boy, two red Bulls going to be towing each other again this race. Will they have another good race together or will they come together as there's a massive dive there from Rumble? Virtual safety car is out. What is that for? As that Scotty crashed out. Five second penalty for Marshall for crashing into Kieran. And that is damage as well for Marshall. not the best start from some of them so I'll refresh that it wasn't rumble it was it was Blake's to send in the move up the inside out of nowhere on uh, on Colpy there Sp now split the two red balls that is not a sort of move we like to see that was very late and it's a good job Colpy moved out the way to be honest I mean, I know he's my teammate and all, because uh, I drive for the McLaren as well, but that's not the sort of thing we like to see here. As we are racing again. Oh, as we're going th three wide, there's Valley's trying to get... Uh, two wide, sorry. Two wide and two wide as Valley's trying to get Dan. Ah, oh, as Blake's has hit Valley, that's hit Colpy. So Valley is now dropping down the field, is now in... Yeah, so Blake's got a three second penalty for all those, uh, for multiple warnings as well. Blake's not having a, not having a very clean start to this. I, he's hit one Red Bull and then he hit another Red Bull into the other Red Bull. So I think McLaren's got a problem here with Red Bulls. But he's on the back of Dan now, and he hits the back of Dan as well. This is not a good race for um, Blake's at all. He's really pushing the boundaries at the moment. Really pushing the boundaries. Driving we do not like to see in the, in the league, and we do not condone at all. As we see uh, Bruges going up the inside of Rumble there, which is uh, good to see. Colp is just staying off the back of Blake's at the moment. Blake's is right on the back of Dan again. He's trying to he's going to go for a dive up the inside. Doesn't make it. Blake's is really aggressive in the opening laps of this race. We are all stay on board with this at the moment. Blake's goes wide there again. So there will be another track warning for him. I have raced him with the fastest lap. Valley is into the pits, I'm assuming with damage from what happened with um, Blake's there. So this is going to really hurt Valley for the uh, for the main race. Softs go on for uh, Valley, so softs on brains off. Marshall's got the softs on as well. Let's see if he can make up some time and get back around. Uh, safety car here would help him out so much. But we're still on board with Blake's at the moment. He's dropped off the back of Dan. So 
He's now got Colpy for company. So we've also got a race here for 12th place between Albie, Kev, Inhale, Four Guests, Kieran and Andy Boy. Andy Boy looks ghosted. Is Andy Boy not in the session? So Colpy's getting the, uh, starting to make a bit of headway now on the back of Blakes. Blakes does have that three second penalty already. And he's got a really slippy rear end. And see where he goes from here. Bruges is now joining Colpy for company. So Colpy's got Bruges breathing down on the back of his ear as well. Blakes now gets another three second penalty for more calling and cutting. So that's six seconds now in four laps. This ain't looking good for the feature race for him. Not at all. Not on his nelly. Different lines we see people taking through there. We will switch back down to watching this because we've still got Albie here leading the way of Kevin and Hale, four guests, Kieran, and now Ozzo. Well, Kieran has dropped off this now, so he's not quite in DRS at the moment. Let's see if we can get back on, get back into this. I mean, Colby doesn't need to make a move here on uh, on Blakes at all. He can just sit behind them now and just take the DRS and just capitalise it on his penalties. I mean, the guys got three, uh, six seconds already. As Blakes is getting close to the back of Dan again, Pink Eye staying in that staying in that um, place at the moment of. Um, or oh, as Blake's going to send it down the inside, damn, that's not a corner I would recommend trying to make a move on, but Blake's tried it. Had to back out though. As again, it looks like Blake's a hit, hit in the back of Dan. We should see Blake's make a move here. Hopefully it's not going to be a late move. Nope. He doesn't manage to get past. So Dan has must have low wings here compared to Blake's. Because Blake seems to be quick through the corners. Oh, as he tries to send a move up the outside there. It didn't work. This is very nervy driving here. I have to admit. As uh, Valley sets fast as lap down there in 18th. So Pink is starting to get a little bit closer now to IF Racing. So this is going to change things at the front maybe. Maybe those hard tyres are starting to come into it. Oh, it's, it looks like Colpy's now hit the back of uh, Blake's. Just that braking difference. That's all it is. Hasn't caused any damage though. So everyone's still just fight another day as we've got a yellow flag. That is four guests going down. So whether we span or not, we do not know. Oh, as Blake's gets very slippery again coming out of that corner. He's not got a lot of traction coming out of corners at all. So Colpy's going to have his rearing open now. Oh, as Blake starts to the inside. Late move there. He takes it into the corner. Dan is going to get a better run of it. Blake's has got now wobbly back end but another quite aggressive late move there from Blake's oh as Colby gets three seconds penalty so that's not going to help him at all I think that was a case from Dan just let the guy go and stare at his way sort of thing oh that's a massive corner cut that was so it looks like Blake's is on his on the path for another um 
another penalty. This Colpy is now right on the back of Dan. So that's got Dan under pressure now from Colpy. Oh, Blake's pushing Dan onto the uh, off the track there. There's not good racing there from Blake's at all. I'm, it's not going well at the moment. Colby has lost a place there to Bruges. So Bruges is now going to be on the attack for Dan. And Colby has got the other McLaren behind him. Rumble giving him pressure as well. So this battle is going... Uh, it's, it's, this midfield field battle is it's quite entertaining. It's um, wrapping up to be a good one. Same as last race, the, the, the midfield battling was just unreal. It's like Valley's made a place. So Valley's moving up down downfield now. It's crucial though, Dan stating that DRS for uh, Blake's. Because that's going to save him here. We have three laps to go. No, we're on seven up. So seven, four laps to go. Three laps to go. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Been working all day. Too hard to comprehend. Blake's trying to make a move and Dan doesn't manage to do it. Blake's is getting close though. He's getting a little bit impatient behind, but not Blake's or Bruges. Fucking hell. Dan is still on the back of Blake's though. So but Bruges is so close to the back of Dan at the moment. And so Bruges is looking for a way past see how he's going to do this. That looks like it's going to be another warning there for Blake's though, because he's very wide there. DOS doesn't seem too powerful down the straights here. Dan is slowly dropping out this DRS zone at the moment, so that's going to leave him vulnerable to Blake's behind him. Dan will get DRS now, though, as full guess has crashed out. That is through the S's, so he will be starting near the back of the feature. Dan just giving enough space there from Bruges. Bruges really trying to find a way past, though. Pinkai still behind um, Iron Racing. They're close together on the track. We are almost. Yeah, we've got two laps to go. So we've got this lap and then the final lap. So Dan is still in that DOS, so that is really helping Dan at the moment. Is Colby close enough to attack Bruges? No, he's not. Colby gets a little bit better drive coming out the corner, but can't make it stick. Bruges manages to get back going properly. As Colby is really, really close to Bruges now.
so Bruges has got a lot of pressure from behind and he will get the DOS from Dan as well but And by the looks it, Blakes will lose one, two, three, four, five places here as Chris has joined the back of this. So Chris has just joined the back of Rumble now, so this is now a one, two, three, four, five, six way battle now for fourth place. VDV is in absolute no man's land. I've seen Bruges really putting the uh, pressure on Dan at the moment. as Bruges is making a move now up the inside of Dan and is he going to make it stick? Dan is going to fight back Dan's going to make him stick it around the inside and Dan keeps the place so we're on the final lap now we have got um, IF Racing leading the race at the moment Blakes gets another three second penalty, so that's nine seconds Blakes has got now. So has Pink Eye got the better tyres? Who's running the lower wings? Will Pink Eye be able to get this on the last lap? Oh, as they go really defensive, better wall touch in there. Pink Eye does make it down the inside though, and makes it through. So Pink Eye retakes the lead there from IF. IF is going to try and come back. As there's a lot of places jiggling further down. Dan and Bruce really fighting. Chris has made it up into 7th. Colby's dropped down a little bit. Dan has managed to stay in front of Bruce by the looks of things. But we are going to be seeing Pink Eye crossing the line as the uh, sprint race winner. And there it is. VDV will come over next. We'll switch back to watch this as there's a massive battle here as Colpy and Chris are still fighting there so there we go so it's going to be Pink Eye, IF Racing, VDV No Fan Dangle managed to hold off Bruges then Chris, Rumble Adam, Colpy's dropped back due to that penalty he had uh, Albie, Kevin but Blake's look, Blake's dropping back from 4th place down to 12th. So those penalties have really affected um, Blake's there. Uh, Hound, can we see the race leaders, bro? Uh, yeah, we did we, we did jump on them from the end. We saw Pink Eye take back the lead. Um, but at the time, they weren't getting close enough for me to flick on them. And there was... A battle at the back uh, well midfield battle again so I tend to try and follow the um, the battles really so they have it for the sprint race So Blake's did suffer a lot there with all those penalties he got. <sighs> right guys, we want no safety cars in the feature please. No safety cars in the feature because we want this done by 10 o'clock by the time qualifying starts. That'd be fan Dabby Dozy.
waiting for everyone to um, get the tire strategy going. It's been a man. Right, here we go. We're about to start the formation lap. I'm just topping up my vape and then I put the tyres on. So tires, no tires. We will have oh, soft, 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 medium, medium, soft, soft. So run for them properly in a second. Right. So we have pink eye, IF Racing, and VDV all on the soft tires to start this race. So the two leaders doing the same strategy by looks of things. We then had no fan dangle and Bruges on the mediums. Followed with Chris, Chris and Rumble on the softs, Adam, Colby, Albie and Kevin on the mediums, Blakes on the hards, Kieran on the mediums, Inhale on the softs, Ozzo on the hards, Valley on the mediums, Marshall on the mediums, Andy Boy softs, and then the two Alpha Toys splitting their strategy on a medium soft. So there's our tyre strat. We will watch this start from IF racing because I feel he gets good starts and he will be looking to put it alongside if not in front of Pink Eye at the start of this race. So it will line up now. Let's see if anyone gets disqualified. And we are about to start in second. One light, two light, three light, four light, five light. And we are racing. Pink Eye does move across to try and stop IF from overtaking. IF is going to look at the inside, but VDV is going on the outside of IF. So IF is going to have to be watching him rather than looking to take the lead. Oh, it's VDV has came off and he's hit the uh, barrier as well. Almost back on the track in front of everyone, but he managed to control it. So got in there from VDB. Chris has dropped down as well. So Chris has had a moment. No, so maybe it was Chris that, Chris that went off and not VDB. I do apologise. It was Chris that had a massive moment. As we see, Rumble is trying to take Bruges. Albie is now going to try and take Rumble. So these three cards are going to battle down the straight at the moment. It's not three wide, but... It is isn't that one. It almost was then. It's not three wide, but it is now. <laughs> so Pink Eye's not got a moment to breathe at the front here. Dan is... Uh, Dan's had a good start. It's been a bit of a gap there between him and Bruges. We know Bruges can be quite fast. And we have a yellow flag out that is... 
Kopi Kopi's gone down. So Kopi's had to come in together with someone. He's now back down behind Kieran. So he's gonna want to get past Kieran quite quick as Pink Eye sets the fastest lap now. As that is Blake's falling down. Blake's is in the pits. And Blake's got a five second penalty for legal blocking. He's got no front wing. So he's obviously plowed in the back of someone. Did he have a car behind him going in the pits then? Is that the legal blocking? No. I'm not sure why he got illegal blocking then. I'm not sure. Just a couple of cars up side. That is. Rumble and Albi going side by side at the moment. Or as Albi gets a hot oh, Albi gets a horrible uh, slide there from back end and so did Kevin. Valley is now gonna make his way past Chris. So Valley's on the medium tires. He squeezes Chris there. No, it's Adam, sorry, he squeezes Adam. Colpy has got past Kieran. Back up at the front now. Still got IF racing close to Pink High. Dan is, well, he's close to VDV, but apparently he's uh, 1 minute 37 seconds behind. It's not quite sure what's going on there, but. There's a bit of a gap forming though from Bruges back to Albi. Albi's got Rumble and Kevin right behind them. It, DOS is now. Available, so that will help IF Racing out to try and get past um, Pink Eye. But Pink Eye has put the hammer down, so he's managed to get that to eight tenths now. IF Racing has managed to get VDV out of the DRS zone. Pink Eye is almost getting to IF Racing out of the DRS zone. It looks like Pink Eye's done enough to give no DRS to the car behind, which is exactly what he wanted to do. I racing is trying to do the same to VDV. Did VDV get? It doesn't look like he did, but Dan did. So Dan, it's going to be pressuring VDV. I have racing must have made a mistake somewhere because he's really dropped back now. Bruges is starting to come back now at Dan, so he's had a few laps and he's now right on the back. Yeah, this battle here for 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. So, Kevin's holding on to the back of Colby at the moment, but you do feel he hasn't quite got the pace there. Pink Eye's got. Oh, Scotty's picking up the second penalty of the uh, race. Pink Eye's got a nice gap between Ive Race and him. Ive Race has got a nice gap between him and VDV. So Dan is on the back of VDV now. He will have a DOS on him. Bear in mind, Dan and Bruce here on the mediums. They can go longer on these mediums than what the guys in front can go on their softs. So they're not in bad place there. The only driver on the hards is Ozzo down in 18th. So he's not going to be bringing those in anytime soon to get up the front. I do apologise Ozzo but facts are facts.
Carp is looking to make a move on Adam there. Thinks better of it, but he will he go here? We'll ride on board with this at the moment. Carp is getting right close to Adam at the moment. Has he got enough speed there? No, he hasn't. So DOS really helping Adam out. Chris with a three second penalty for corner cutting. Valley with three second penalty for corner cutting. This early in the race. These guys pick up the penalties fast. Still got this battle for third place here. Dan does go up the inside though. No, it's the outside, sorry. No, it is the inside. Makes it pass. Bruges makes it pass as well. So VDV there losing two places. One to Dan and one to Bruges. On that lap alone, or on that straight alone. I have racing though, really dropping off the back of Pink Eye. Dad is in a good place there on the mediums. He's going to have DRS on I have racing. I have racing won't have any on um, Pink Eye. So can Dan get close? into the next few laps as Valley overtakes uh, King there as we have a car going around which is Valley no call for safety car but Valley has lost the back end there no damage done Battling, but there's nothing changing at the moment. Dan is really close to IF Racing in these last few laps. So IF Racing is about to be getting a lot of pressure from three cars behind. This is the closest battle on track at the moment. Have the soft tyres started to show a bit of wear now? Five laps? I thought they might be able to go a bit longer than five laps. Maybe there's... Knew it was going to go five laps and expecting an early safety car. I don't have the telemetry on. Let's put that on. Because I want to see if in a minute I'm going to flip through see if anyone's got a fuel light on. Dan's really close and not yet going past. So no fuel lights or anything at the moment. Everyone's fueled up. I think people are starting to learn the lessons now with fueling. Oh, as that's inhaled, trying to go past Scotty. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, they almost make contact there. Nope, even Ozzo's got fuel in, so. Everyone's doing a good job on fuel. We've still got 20 cars in this race, so that's not bad going. Bruges is getting right on the back of Dan though, so Bruges is going to look to make up places. Dan did manage to get past IF Racing there and IF Racing really struggled with the back end of that car as, as the rears, rear tyres gone on that car. Bruges is now going to line them up as well.
So I've Mason is going to look to come back at Dan. So all this is a battle for second place at the moment. When do these soft runners need to pit? That is the question. Now I believe if I take the map off and the telemetry do it like that it should show me the tyre wear at some point so we've got a bit of DOS there from IF Racing let's see how it goes so it's going to show us the tyre wear isn't it well there is a way of doing it so it does show you the tyre wear Maybe we'll take that off as well. Let's leave the telemetry on. Let's look at the EOS. Dan's on 29% EOS. IF Racing has 52. Bruce has 79. Really V has 11. Pink Eye is on loads. So Dan is using his EOS at the moment to stay in front. Let's see if that keeps happening. I want, I want them to put up the tire graphic. That's what I want. Oh, Kevin disqualified for the wrong way. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. That's not good for the Ferrari team. Dan's doing well to manage to stay in front here at the moment. He gets a little bit of space before the DOS then, so it doesn't. So it's got to cost um, I Racing a bit of time to get close to Dan. I mean, is I Racing just sitting behind Dan now, just using the DOS just to stay in front of others? Because we saw it earlier with VDV, as one car goes past, they all go past. shows that tire where is it that we want to see damn they're doing a good job here up front how how much further can these softs go I mean Dan is reeling in pink eye now pink eye is the leader Dan is reeling him in since pink eye was 2.6 seconds so IF racing is using Dan to get close to pink eye so pink eye and I have racing will still battle after they pit I'm assuming which one's gonna go first though because they are on soft tires Scotty multiple warnings there Kieran apparently as well is that I have racing about to make a move no it's not he just stays behind Dan. Dan is still. Oh, he's lost a bit of time though to Pink Eye. He lost quite a bit of time to Pink Eye actually. Well, I don't think it's going to tell us the um, thing. Not going to tell us the tyre wear, which is a shame. I'll put the map back on to see where people are. Oh, it's Chris is out, so that will be bringing out a safety card. There's a safety card, there's the call. And everyone is starting to come in the pits, even Dan, so they're all jumping in from the leaders. Pink Eye, Dan, IF Racing, Bruges, BDV, Rumble. Rum IF Racing, speeding in the pit lane. Rumble jumps in as well. Adam is jumping in. Colby's jumping in. 
I'll be jumping in. I think the whole field is jumping in the pits. So, yeah, the whole field. Every single person jumping in the pits now. Change the tyres. Ozzo is... Is! I thought Ozzo was going to keep going there. Take the lead of the race. I have racing did jump down in the pits, but does have a penalty for it. Let's see what tyres everyone has gone on to. So Pink Eye and I have racing are both on the mediums. Dan and Bruges is on the hards. Valley and uh, VDV and Rumble on the mediums. Hards for everyone else. Down to Ozzo who's on the mediums. Hards for Blake's and Andy Boy's on the hearts as well. Too scared hands. <laughs> oh, Ozzo. Oh, Ozzo, Ozzo, Ozzo. Oi, oi, oi. Ozzo, oi. Ozzo, oi. Ozzo, Ozzo, Ozzo. Oi, oi, oi. I just read that tier 2 um, streams down there, his internet drops. Did you like that Ozzo? Did you like that chant for you? That's the Ozzo Bozzo chant now, alright. So I have racing uh, uh, what sixteen laps on these mediums. I mean, we saw Pink Eye come back on the hards after ten laps in the sprint race, which would be which yeah, so running less fuel for ten laps. Uh, uh, so on lap nine, he managed to take. So after lap 9, the hards were better. So if Dan and Bruges can stay with Pink Eye and I have racing for the next 9 laps, 10 laps, surely the next 6 is going to be easier for Dan and Bruges than it is for I have racing and Pink. But we will find out. So safety car is in, in this uh, safety car is in this lap. So Pink Eye will back the grid off at the moment. Hopefully no one will hit anyone as we see a Alpine just go really weird there because he got too close. Kieran collision with Scotty, so five second penalty for Kieran for hitting someone on the safety car. And Scotty has dropped back and Valley's got him as well. So that has now hindered all that back end. So Scotty's lost a few places there for Kieran hitting him.
and we are racing again. I have racing right on the back of Pinko, so he will get a massive toe here. Good down the inside. Will he be able to take Pinko going into turn one? It looks like he has. I have racing is now leading this race. I'll be three second penalty for cutting corners again. So on the restart, Pink Eye got caught there. And I have racing is now in the lead of this race. So what a battle at the moment from I have racing and Pink Eye. I have racing and the likes of Bruges have really challenged Pink Eye this oh as VDV sends it on Bruges and does make it stick. No, they're still side by side. So they're going down the next part side by side. Can VDV make this? He will be on the inside for the next corner. As you see, Pink Eye trying to get back up the inside of Bruges, but doesn't uh Pink Eye trying to get back up the inside of I oh, Racing but didn't happen. But VDV did get Bruges. VDV is on the medium tires. So won't won't uh won't struggle so much to heat them up. Sorry, I couldn't get that out of them. The Dan is already a second behind the guys in front and he ha he has the uh, track warning penalty as well. Unusual for Dan. I've raced and oh he's got a five seconds for speed in the pit lane. So I have racing needs to get five seconds in front of Pink Eye. So from 7th down to 15th, there's no tyre advantage. They're all on the same tyre, the same age. Ooh. As Valley gets another 3 second penalty, we see Blake is on the back of Oslo at the moment. So VDV has really put the pressure on Dan now on those medium tyres. So obviously the mediums are holding up better, but Valley is now a second in front of Pink Eye as we've got Valley and Marshall switching places. So that is Valley up position. DOS is now enabled. Blake's with penalty as well, but we were suspecting that. Is that his first one though? Let's have a look at penalties a second. Yeah, this is Blake's first one, so... Oh, five seconds for Dan speeding the pit lane. So Dan got speed in the pit lane. IF Racing got speed in the pit lane. Kim was on eight seconds, that's so speeding and corner cutting. Or as you see Dan getting really close to the back of uh, VDV now. Yeah, Scott is on six, Valley's on six, and that's on three. So, yeah. VDV has got Dan. As they're going down the main straight now. 
and he's managed to gap him as well for quite a lot. So those medium tyres have really given these drivers the grip they need at this stage of the race compared to those hards. So Rumble is the next one to be coming through these guys. Oh, as VDV gets a time penalty for um, track limits. Scotty, three seconds for track limits as well, so I believe that's nine now for Scotty. Pink Eye is starting to close now on IF Racing, so IF Racing did manage to get away a little bit. A little bit less EOS, 64% for IF Racing. 90% for Pink Eye. So Pink Eye's not really using his uh, EOS. So I, I believe he did. He'll be able to get close enough to make a move. Inhale a few second penalties. Okay, we're another penalty there. So Pink Eye's really starting to... Yeah, he's, he's still close to Eye of Racing. Not using any ERS at all though. He's on 95%. So he's just sticking there. Eye of Racing isn't really building it up with that either. Dan is still on the back of VDV, pushing the limits of the track there. Must have got a uh, track warning limit there. Has any of the front runners got a track limit? Should we see? Race director instance. So we're looking for eye facing or pink eye. So there's one for eye facing, two for eye facing. As we have a yellow flag out. So yeah, so I've basically got a couple of track limits there, which could come into play. Oh, as we see in Pink Eye going for the lunge there. They managed to get side by side, then both managed around the corner. A bit of a late move there for Pink Eye, but both drivers giving each other respect and the space. I've racing get the tail out there. And Pink Eye's really trying to get past now. on the board with Pink Eye as he's about to make another lunge for um, Eye Racing. Eye Racing does get very defensive as we've seen Bruce has got um, Dan. Oh, both drivers are giving plenty of space there. Oh 
Oh, so a lovely helicopter view going for the S's. Thank you, the the camera gods, for this uh, that view. So this is starting to heat up now then. Pink Eye now makes a move down the inside and I think there's a little bit of contact from the two drivers. Not a lot of space was given there. Pink Eye goes to the switch back, tries to get around I face in there but doesn't work. Go through the final section now. I think I a little bit wider. Just trying to open up the track a little bit more to give a better run. I race in the game with the back end out a little bit. I think I will get DRS now. Then down the main straight. Again he's still not using his ERS. I have racing and starting to use his ERS as well. Pink Eye keeps taking that turn and so tight he hits that orange curb, which isn't going to help him at all there. Bruges is right on the back of VV. And Dan's still on the back of these guys. Pink Eye really close to the back of um, Valley with a three second time penalty. So the most grid now with a penalty as Bruges gets VDV. VDV then comes back at Bruges. So these guys are getting close together. Let's see how it goes. I mean, if they take each other out, this could be ideal for Dan. Oh, his bruise goes really wide there. That lets Dan straight through. Oh, Dan had a bit of a back end slide there. So these guys are really racing. Two battles going on at the moment. We have Pink Eye trying to get the lead back of IF Racing, and he sends it down the inside. It looks like he's just made that move. We switch back to watch this, and Pink Eye has gone up the inside. Uh, IF Racing is going to try and fight it back. Oh, a bit of a slide there from IF Racing. IF Racing really struggling at the back end of that car today. But Pink Eye has made the move back past. Pink Eye still hasn't used any EOS. I don't know if the guy even realises where the button for the ERS is. So Bruce did get back past Dan as well. We missed that one. Always got a yellow sector that is just a bat marker spinning. So 
I just adjusted myself a little bit. Jesus. Sorry, my leg is in the good. So Bruce still there. Oh, I have racing up that bass pink eye. We are watching that battle as well. We're watching two battles at the moment, so pink eye will now go back at I have racing. Just use your EOS pink eye. Use the force. I mean, he doesn't need to because he knows that he's got that um, penalty, so he can just stick behind him and still take the win there. But let's do it on track, shall we? Come on, come on. It's not what I wanted. Oh, sugar, we've got a safety car with five laps to go. Anyone going to risk coming in the pits? Get rid of the penalties and stuff? Pink eye pits. All the top ones are all pitting now for soft tyres. Everyone's on the same. Everyone's on the same uh, path here. Yeah? They're all pitting for soft tyres. Apart from Kieran, who's now sitting in fifth place. Kieran in fifth place in this race on those hards. He's gonna get in the mix right now. Right about now, Funk Super. So we are behind this uh, the shape of the car at the moment. So everyone's pitted apart from Kieran and Hale and Andy Boy. The whole grid is on soft. So let's see how this is going to end up. The safety car should be in this lap, I would say. No Fandangle lost out a lot of time there, but he has now got no penalties. IF Racing now has no penalties. 
So Pink Eye can't rely on that. And yes, you might hear the qualifier in the background. That's because it's on my TV. safety car staying out another lap so we're gonna have two laps of racing here oh Kieran Kieran's jumped into the pits I was, I was wondering why Kieran's dropping down the field but Kieran has jumped in the pits so he's doing the wise thing he knows he's gonna get eaten up by everyone on this sauce he's gonna join them and hopefully gain a couple of places like Andy Boy maybe in hell and hell's gonna drop back quite quickly I, I think Safety car is in this lap. Safety car is in this lap. Uh, we are still backing up. Will Pink Eye get a better start here? Because last time on the restart, he was gobbled up. And Pink Eye is off. I have racing is just behind him. I have racing is on the side of him and they are side by side now has this done it again they are side by side going into turn one pink eye is on the outside I have racing has managed to do it yet again get straight past um, straight past pink eye on the restart there Colpy is in front of Dan Rouge is there in fourth place with VDV in BDV has a penalty, so this is going to affect him quite a lot. Someone's dropping down. Who's that? Inhale. Inhale's dropping down. Blake's is dropping down, so Blake's is an incident. Maybe Inhale and Blake's came together. We've seen how aggressive some of the Blake's moves was. Kim has now moved up into 12th. Ozzo's up in 11th. Ozzo's up into 10th.
So IF Racing is still managing to keep Pinko behind them. Nothing else is moving at the moment. We have two laps of this race going. Staying at stern at the moment, nothing's changing. I mean, Rumble has dropped second and a half behind Bruges. So, VDV will only lose two places at the moment. Seeing if Pink Eye can get past Val uh, IF Racing. So, Pink Eye has used a bit of AOS now. IF Racing's on 40%. Pink Eye, uh, Pink, there, yeah, Pink Eye is on 68%. So we're about to hit the last lap now. Are we going to see Pinko drain his ERS? DRS is now enabled. See if Pink Eye makes his move now. He will have DOS down the next straight. IF Racing is using his ERS. He's done to 32%. Pink Eye's on 50%. So are we going to see Pink Eye rinse his ERS now to get past IF Racing? This will be the last chance to do it. IF Racing goes defensive. Pink Eye is side by side. He's going to have the inside for turn one. He takes back the lead of the race. Is IF Racing going to be able to fight this back? Just enough room being left here by Pink Eye. IF Racing is really trying to fight a way back around. These two really going at it on this last lap of the race. Colby and Dan going at it as well. Colby and Dan are side by side. And I believe Dan will get this done. Dan had it done, same as Pink Eye's got done. Pink Eye coming around the last corner now. And Pink Eye will take the checkered flag. What about IF Racing? What about VDV that turns into Bruges? Then Rumble. No Fandangle. Colpy. Albi. Then Valley with loads of penalties. So let's see where he's going to end up. Hulkenberg. In first place. On real life for F1. Valley has dropped all the way down to 15th now. So Pink Eye catching another win there and I'm thinking that will be the championship. So here we have the race eye. Uh, yeah. Here we have the race results. We'll get the wrist directors. 
slightly frustrating in a way, but uh, brilliant in, a, in an F1 car. And uh, the spinal little chicane, and you've got the, for a driver, completely unsighted left hand kink there. Down, and we're not seeing a lot of brake locking here. They're really getting that sorted out in this uh, half of the season. And sight, fastest man of anybody. That's the end of the restrictors. Um, but there's still a very technical section to come uh, after heavy braking for this. So trial. let's so down turn 12 we go. We invite in. Uh, pinches the inside nicely. Stays well within the white line. There's only two drivers. So invite players. Tier one. Sorry, very soon. Sorry, miss, hit, miss in terms of the three apexes there uh, for 16, 17, and 18. 19. Let's see if anyone joins. There we go then. Leclerc's gone fastest in the other Ferrari. Sainz <coughs> brings the nose in really early into that last corner and he gets rewarded a third of a second <coughs> faster, three tenths faster than his teammate. So Ferrari is going to have a front row lockout here last year with five minutes to go. That's the fastest two times there in FP1 for Gasly, Hulkenberg and Verstappen. Plenty in the pits, changing tyres, waiting to go out once more. Sargent without a time on the board. Joe, Ricardo, Magnussen and Albon, the five, who need to do a little bit better. And uh, we can just watch Carlos Sainz plunging down the hill here and see a wonderful, flowing, slalom-esque uh, section akin to, to Maggots and Beckett at uh, Silverton. And whilst we watch that, we can hear from Ted Kravitz. I think there are a lot of drivers, as you say, everybody... Don't think anyone's going to join. ...to change tyres, put another splash, three laps or so worth of fuel back in the car. But I think it's going to be, you're going to need below a 36.5. A 36.5, and you'll be safe into this next one. But I think everybody, everybody crossy is going to go again. Uh, yeah, I think they're going to need to, given the way the track could improve. The track temperature still 42 degrees. Uh, we're about quarter past four nope, in the no one's joining, so I'm going to end the stream there. So, thank you all for joining in. And I will see you next week.